Hey guys, this is I'll Make a Drive One, and in this video, it's just going to be a general topic about the RuneScape economy. Uh, it's not going to be pretty much a prices rant or anything. It's just going to be a general rant about the RuneScape economy. So basically, you know, like you have uh, other uh, games like World of Warcraft, which have auction houses, and the prices rarely change. Uh, so it allows you to pretty much have your item, use it, and everything, and see if you liked it. And even when the prices do change, it's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a change. Uh, Jagex is big, uh, big, uh, what is it? Uh, the thing they seem to feel most proud of is their uh, dynamic economy. And I know that there's also a lot of games that uh, do this, but it's not abused to this extent. Uh, see, Jagex is like, yeah, we have an economy and we have the Grand Exchange. However... It is abused to hell. Uh, mainly, the entire economy is abused to hell. Uh, for example, uh, you know, like we had merchanting clans and everything. Basically, a select group of people can be like, "Hey, you know what? I want this item in the Grand Exchange to be incredibly expensive for a little bit, and then we're all just going to sell it. And then the first few people are going to make a ton of money. Yet us idiots down at the bottom are still going to buy into this crap, and we're going to lose a bunch of money." And then those people in the bottom can be exchanged for anyone else because someone's going to get the impression that, oh, I can make tons of money in here. And if it not, if not, it's the uh, clan owners and everything that's going to hammer that into someone's head. So, Grand Exchange. Uh, well, for one, it's called the Grand Exchange. And when Jagex released it, they latched on this dynamic pricing thing. And at first it was like, yeah, that's cool. Uh, we have... The natural economy, I guess. Uh, but sadly, wound up being Jagex' biggest downfall to this day. Uh, people abuse the living hell out of it. And again, it's called the Grand Exchange. I was hoping that it would just be an exchange, which would be a lot, which would be a lot of help. You know, you put your own price in there, and uh, if people want to buy it, they buy it. Uh, however, that's not the case. And even Jagex, uh said that uh, the Grand Exchange after the after free price or after free trade and the Wildy was was brought back, that they would remove the whole uh, dynamic. Uh, what is it like? Oh yeah, the five percent or not the five percent, like a set max amount and a set minimal amount. They removed that, and people were like, yeah, well, I guess we're not going to have to rely solely on the Grand Exchange to sell our stuff uh, uh, as far as prices go, which turned out to not work. People are still relying on the Grand Exchange prices to uh, sell their items. Um, of course, excluding people with rares and party hats, which I've hoarded them to death, and still, for some reason, act as if they are extremely rare and are worth billions of GP. While a Christmas cracker is like cheaper than both of them and it is extremely rare. Huh. The rarest, the rarer items, for some reason, are less in price than the uh, hoarded, like, there's that, I've seen tons of people with party hats, which gets me, uh, that, you know, party hats which are worth like billions. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. So, in general, uh, what has, uh, what have people decided to abuse, uh, you know, the Grand Exchange now. Well, of course, we have uh, uh, merchanting clans, like, moving over into dicing clans. Uh, and th this is extremely obvious. You have extremely rich people, which are, uh, which are like, on the coattails of freaking uh, merchanting clans and all that, which has been uh, looked down upon and everything now. But now we have uh, dicing clans and stuff, which people are now looking down upon. And for some reason, uh, Jagex does one thing. They remove dice and nothing else. So now we have like people like Win All Day and everything still out there. Uh, potentially scamming people out of billions, millions, whatever. And if you claim you're legit, uh, sorry, no, uh, no one's legit. I mean, think of it this way. I In real life, I could go on the street and say, yeah, I'll double your money, everyone. Uh, do you, using common sense, do you think that if someone, like, if someone were to give me a dollar, I'd be like, 
yeah, sure, here you go, $2. I just doubled your money. Uh, it's such a small amount like that. Someone can give me a penny now, but like, here, okay, I'll more than double your money. Here's 10 more pennies. Here's 100 pennies. Here's a dollar for you. Uh, as soon as someone, and this is common sense, people, don't say you wouldn't do the same. I mean, you must be really nice if you wouldn't, if you, uh, wouldn't do the same. Someone hands you a million dollars, you're going to be like, okay, uh, I'll double your money tomorrow and I'll see you back here at the same spot. And then, of course, you don't show up and you're off with a bunch of money. And because of Jagex's rule, I would, <laughs> I would be able to get away with it, uh, all it takes is one person to make any of these clans not legit. Uh, it's just too risky. Um, I could be a legit money doubler on RuneScape. Uh, but, you know, it, it, all it takes is one person and all of a sudden your credibility is gone. It, it shows how easy you can get away with scamming. Especially when all day when you have like a bunch of videos, some are fake, but when you have a bunch of videos showing his clan members flat out scamming people for, for billions. Like, yeah, sure, I'll double your million, but as soon as you hand me a wad of money, then, yeah, uh, no problem. I'm going to run away and, uh, you know, nothing's going to happen. Uh, we suggested on the forums, when I was still talking a lot on the forums, when it, before, before it became like a mass amount of little kids on there, uh, we were talking about how there should be an option, like if I were, if I saw someone advertising a Dyson clan or something, I would be able to report them, and hopefully they would get at least muted or, or banned or something because a lot of money is illegitimate. So uh, apparently that hasn't happened. Uh, I logged in the other day and it was a free-to-play world. Uh, I think it was one of the top. I, I didn't pay attention. I just clicked uh, play to go in. Uh, and I saw like three people advertising the same clan and everything doing the something game. I don't know. It was something stupid. Um, so I just walked by and I'm like, yeah, typical JX. Uh, and on the forums, we have people complain. We have people saying that if they remove Dyson, then they got to remove stake and everything. And I am sort of agreeing in that line. Like people are relying way too much on staking in the dual arena to make their amount, make their cash. Like it takes no skill at all to get a ton of money in this game now. Like killing bosses, <laughs> you know, all I need to do is kill maybe one boss, get good loot, and then I'm off to the dual arena to bet it all and hopefully make potentially billions. And for some people, people actually believe. That staking is a is a very good way to make money. Well, it is until you lose. <laughs> um, you know, there's people that's glorified the freaking thing. Like, no one's perfect ass. Like, freaking Spart Mac. Uh, just glorifying freaking staking. Guys, I have staked before. I have boxed. It is not that common to win. Okay, and for those of you telling me, well, I can do this and that, it's boxing. Okay, I've done the trick where you where you alternate your fighting styles or whatever. I did from accurate to uh, block and everything. I even tried to do uh, strong attacks or whatever. I forgot aggressive attacks or whatever, and it doesn't change a thing. Most of the time, I I don't notice it. Like I don't know if my attacks are do are doing well. Uh, there was one video, I don't know if it was by No One's Perfect or anything, or Spark Map, because I think the douchebag I was talking about in Spark Map, in the Spark Map video, making top 10s, was actually No One's Perfect. Uh, but that doesn't really matter. Um, anyway, uh, how can I lose my train of thought here? Wow. Anyway, staking, um... Uh, I did a few stakes, and I'd say it was about half that I won and half that I lost. So it was really pointless. <laughs> uh, it, it's way too freaking risky. Uh, I don't know how the well, actually, I probably do know how the hell uh, Spark Mac and No One's Perfect are getting their money back from obviously losing. Because, like I said, there's no way you can box and win this uh, many times and everything. Just glorifying freaking staking. Probably so you can go in there and stake with him and he'll take all your money. Uh, no. People dump their entire banks 
into the freaking dole arena to make money and now bosses are a freaking joke uh prices are going down because people are buying it at you know think about it this way if you have a ton of money you're obviously going to think that these god items and stuff are not worth that much uh of course everything is dropping in price except for party hats which like i've already explained earlier should not be should not cost that uh, the amount of money they do now uh, I've only heard like little kids explain like why they think it should be the price it is because there's more of it and people are trading more of it. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> Trade more of an item and it'll increase in price. Yep, our pennies in the United States are worth tons of money now. <laughs> if you're in another country, hey, my penny is worth a hundred dollars, people. A hundred euros, a hundred. Canadian dollars, whatever, wherever you're from. Um, so yeah, um, staking is freaking over glorified and people are now throwing that into the grand exchange. And of course, prices are dropping like a rock. Um, <laughs> you know, it's, it's amazing how such a, this game is so simple. Basically, like people thought it was amazing or I thought it was amazing back in the day, you know, a Java game and everything, but it's so simple now. So simple to uh, progress in this game, and Jack it's like tosses more crap, like without fixing any of the older issues. So uh, the whole removing dicing was point, or removing dice was freaking pointless because now people are using other means of scamming other people or dicing or whatever. I mean, considering the amount of money people make, the people with a bunch of 99s are rarely even looked at. You know, uh, you could have all 99s and have one mil, and people are like, <laughs> what a noob. Wow. What a loser, man. Look at the amount of money you have. Yet, like, level level three could get on with, like, 100 mil and wearing their party hat and everything. Hi, guys. Have my party hat on. Look how cool I am. Which is basically what happens. People, more people look at, or more people on RuneScape look at people with a ton of money versus someone like all 99s. And Jackets took a step in the right direction when they, uh, when they, uh, added the capes and everything. The, comp I forgot what it's called, accomplishment capes or something. Uh, it draws attention, but still people are relying solely on money to, uh, for someone's social status, I guess, in RuneScape. Uh, again, it's cause the, I can't believe how some one person can like ruin RuneScape almost. Chessy 018, like Spart Mac, and no one's perfect freaking glorifying staking and glorifying merchanting clans, glorifying screwing over people. Uh, win all day for that for that uh, area. Uh, I'm almost at 13 minutes, people. Wow. So I wish that the grant. Well, not. The Grand Exchange is for exchanging items and everything, and I wish you could just put in your regular price without it having to automatically update. Because people are like, oh, people are still looking like at the at the Grand Exchange, like people with party hats before saying that the Grand Exchange is just false. It's just stupid. I have to trade. I have to actually trade my stuff. I have to actually trade my stuff in the Grand Exchange at this price in order for it to go up. I have to actually trade my party hat. I'm hoarding the thing. Like, you're making me trade it, Jagets? What is up with this? <laughs> and now people are abusing the uh, automatic function update function of uh, the Grand Exchange. Party hats are not worth that much. You will not see me buy a party hat at, uh, at any point. Um, it's useless. It serves no purpose. And I, feel, I would feel like a douchebag if I had it. Um... So I, w I wish that the uh, automatic updating ver or part of the Grand Exchange would be completely removed, which it should have been in the first place. I don't know why Jagged still was like, yeah, we're going to remove the highest and lowest you can go, but we're going to add this dynamic crap instead. Uh, so it's, not, it's still not really free. It's not a free economy. Um, and again, we still have max... We still have limits on what we can trade and what we, uh, yeah, what what we can trade, the max amount. And, you know, just those functions, if they could go, that would be amazing. 
Jackets is not going to do it, though, because as far as listening to the community, uh, I have... They say, yeah, we're com- fueled by the community or something. There's like a stamp. Last time I checked on the forums that said, like, community something. Uh, but it doesn't seem to be that way. Uh, they were, they're were they relying solely on the community to advertise their game and go on their Facebook and look at all their updates, uh, their previews, their image previews, and uh, relying them to go on other websites and defend them and everything. I'm not defending RuneScape or Jagettes. Fix your stuff. <laughs> it's not... Uh, it, surely this tiny amount this these updates you've already made uh could easily be fixed you know listen to your community stop claiming you're listening to the community uh you know like with the dice and everything you're going to remove dice and nothing else and you're just going to let them run rampant uh, there's no option for reporting them and by what i've seen people are not scared of advertising still Still have like rich people and everything adver- advertising their dicing clans, uh, even though after you report them, no- you know nothing happens. So Jagets, can you please fix your stuff? Please, <laughs> man, I I love the I love the economy. I love the economy in RuneScape. Completely ran by a small group of people. This reminds me of something. Reminds me of something that's going on right now where most of the economy is ran by like, what, what was it, 1%? And like the 99% was quite fed up and everything. It was quite annoying. Oh, uh, actually, I think you should get that on your own. I don't need to explain it to you. Uh, yeah, quite annoying, Jay. It's, so that's it, guys. This is Iomega Drive 1. It's almost 17 minutes long. Heck yeah. See you guys later.